Well, this year definitely didn't start how I had planned it. Hey guys, I hope you've been keeping positive and motivated. If this is your first time here, I am Tor and I share my experience as part of my Life After Failure series to entertain, encourage and inspire you and people all around the world. I had this grand plan of all the great things that I would be getting done over the Christmas holidays and the beginning of the year. In November was announced that I would be a speaker at TEDx in Canada. And all these ideas were flowing through my head for my script that needed to be delivered as a first draft 5th of January. I also am desperate to prepare for a new business startup. More about that in another video though. And then of course, I had all these videos that I wanted to do for you guys on YouTube. Whilst I did deliver a draft of my TEDx talk, I'm not satisfied with it. And I felt disappointed in myself of leaving it too late. And of course, I didn't get to work on my business idea, nor did I produce any videos for you guys. Having to self-isolate for 10 days with my oldest kid testing positive for COVID didn't help. Thankfully, they didn't have it that bad, but it was a logistical nightmare as anyone under the age of 18 is still allowed to leave the house and go to school. So we had to burden our 17 year old with the responsibility of going shopping and taking the little ones to nursery and school. Let me be honest, I felt extremely overwhelmed these last eight weeks and it was suggested to me that I might be in a depressive mental state. But rather than acknowledging it, I initially went into denial. I came to realize though that I needed to do something about it. But instead of going on medication, I chose to go back to my old early morning routines that I had neglected for probably six months now. And I could feel the transformation within just two weeks. I also started online counseling with better help and mind, which I have found extremely helpful in better processing the stresses in my life, especially for me as a man who, just as many others out there, I still am reluctant to ask for help and talk about the stresses that are affecting me. And in times like this, I struggle of letting go of that stigma of man up already. However, I have found a lot of comfort and benefit in being able to speak to a professional psychologist and the process worked really well for me. That struggle of letting other people know how you feel is real. But especially with better help, I have found that communicating my thoughts and my goals that I want to achieve in writing and allowing the therapist I'm working with to ask the right questions has been an invaluable process and I can only recommend it. Mind has been amazing as well. Being able to speak to someone outside of your inner circle and encouraging me has boosted my moods and motivation. Something that came out of my sessions has been that I am very hard on myself if I do not feel that I've achieved all my goals in a day. But through talking with a therapist, I'm learning to make micro adjustments and appreciate the achievements that I have made. Sounds trivial, but it's actually made a huge difference. I think everybody should have someone like this to talk to whether struggling with mental health or not. Just so you know, this is not sponsored, but I have left links for better help and mind in the description below if you wanted to check them out. I'm now going to go and work on putting together a brief video taking you through my early morning routine that has made such a huge difference for me with cardio and meditation. And as soon as that video is available, you'll be able to select it here. Other than that, I hope this video has been helpful to you and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. But in the meantime, remember to stay positive and motivated.